My name is Rich Harrington, and I'm a trainer for Future Media Concepts. Today, I'm going to show you a tip on how to take time-lapse photography and create video clips. Now, time-lapse is this really cool idea where we take a series of still images. Maybe it's one picture every second or every few seconds, and we merge those together to create the passing of time. Now, the way this works is you need a still camera, preferably a professional digital SLR, and you're going to set it up with what's usually called an intervalometer or some sort of device like a remote so you could say take a picture every X number of seconds. It's really not that hard. In fact, a lot of digital SLRs even have this built right into their internal menu system. So if you just pull out that user manual that came with your camera, you could figure it out. Now, let's take a look at what we do with it once we have those images. In After Effects, I'm going to choose File, Import, File. And I need to navigate to a folder that contains all of those sequenced images for the time-lapse image. Now, I'm going to use some photos here shot by a great DP I know named Jim Ball. And he has a series of pictures here in this folder, and we're going to use these to create it. Now, there's actually two sets of time-lapse here in one shot, so that's okay. We'll use them both. I'll select the first one, and then I say import as footage as a JPEG sequence. And I click open. And you'll see what happens is, is it brings it in as a clip. So if we go ahead and drag through that, you'll see that it is actually a time-lapse shot. And we have two of them here. So I had two sets in the folder, but I can treat these as two separate shots. That looks pretty good. Let's just drag that into the composition, and I'll find that point where it changes there. We'll just use the page up key to find the scene change. There it is. And we'll just say, We'll just say edit, split layer. So now we've got two separate clips. Let's turn this top one off here and we'll deal with this one. And you see as we drag through that over time, the sun came up. That worked really quite nice. We've got that shot. If we want to, we could change the speed of it. I'll just right click and choose stretch. And I could even stretch that out to 200%. And now it's a 10 second shot. The other thing to realize is that this is big. So if I zoom this out, you'll see that we actually have more images than we need. So let's select our composition and go to our composition settings, and I'll choose a preset such as high definition television. And when I click that, you see we have all this extra area here, and that's because the pictures shot by the digital still camera were bigger than what you need for video. Still cameras also have a different aspect ratio, typically a 3-2 aspect ratio, while with video these days, you're almost always shooting 16 by 9. So the two don't exactly line up. We get around that by selecting this, and we could twirl this down and take a look at position and scale. So I can scale that down to fit. That looks really nice. Let's zoom that back in a little bit. We'll say fit. And I've got the whole shot. In fact, if I want to, I can even keyframe that. So I could say, you know, start here. And then over time, as the sun comes up and the sky starts to get less attractive, let's go ahead and scale that back up and sort of pan down into the street level. There we go. And we'll just do a quick preview at half quality. And you see that the shots play back. We have our time lapse. Plus, in this case, not only do we have the passage of time, but we've done motion control, so we could pan and scan around the shot. You can never pull off a time-lapse shot like this in a video camera with this smooth animated panning. So not only can you show that passage of time, but you could selectively choose what part of the image you actually want to see. And as you watch that there, that looks pretty good. Let's see that play back. There's the time-lapse of the passage of time as we zoom into the street level and the clouds float by. Now, we had that other shot that we did. Let's just take a look at that as is. I'll stretch that out 200%, and we'll just turn that layer on. And the same sort of thing. Let's just twirl down transform and adjust the scale until we see the part of the photo we want. I like that. I'm gonna pull down so I see a little more of the sky. And let's click preview. There it is, there's the proper exposure. Just got framed up a little bit, couple of frames in, and now it looks pretty solid. 
and that's normal. You might have to throw away a couple of the frames at the start. Maybe you made a few tweaks to the camera as you're getting it set up. But overall, this is a cool way to work with time-lapse photography and turn it into actual high-definition video clips that you can use in your projects. So, hope you enjoyed this. We cover all sorts of great advanced stuff like this at conferences produced by Future Media Concepts. My name's Rich Harrington, and I look forward to seeing you at a future show.